Hello friends, my name is Nasser and you are again most welcome in LabTex. Today I am here with uh, a new case study of uh, a Dell 5588 and uh, which part number is LA-B843P and uh, problem in this motherboard is like that as I put the power I need to check here that uh, am I getting LDO voltage on the particular pin so here you can see that you are getting 3.19 voltage on the LDO pin HDA SCL you can also make it confirm whether it is present or not and the very unique thing is here that uh, you will not get SCL and SDA uh, which also you used to check that uh, when the LDO out from the 3.3 and 5 volt regulator this is the on off switch uh, voltage but on the SCL and SDA which you which it used to be in uh, LDO form but here it there is the slightest of difference in this motherboard the logic is slightly different in this motherboard so let's try to understand that uh, how the logic works I am going to describe it in the schematic you will see that how do I repair this motherboard so here the main thing here I as I only seen this motherboard and uh, very easily I found that uh, there is a problem of charging IC maybe because uh, as there is a one logic only that AC OK hash it is BQ737 and uh, if you get internal logic of this particular diagram you will see that uh, uh, the pin number 5 the pin number 5 would be connected with a, a MOSFET N channel MOSFET and uh, the logic the positive voltage would be coming on the uh, that particular N channel MOSFET gate so this will switch on and the source will be ground as soon as the voltage will reach to the that MOSFET it will switch on and uh, it will send the ground it means low logic it will send it to the pin number 5 let's come and check that uh, what voltage you are going to get on this particular pin pin number 5 1 2 3 4 5 so it's the 5 number pin and uh, as soon as I am checking here you can see here the pin number 5 I have I have applied my multimeter positive pin and you can see the 3.2 volt the logic is high after this practical session uh, I, I will describe all the schematics that uh, how this particular logic works in this particular motherboard then you can determine that uh, from where should you get voltage and uh, how you should trace out uh, in the motherboard because uh, there is a slightly different logic uh, I feel in in this motherboard uh, this particular pin 5 number it there should not be uh, high logic there must be low logic 0 volt and uh, that is why in this motherboard you will not get you know particular voltage of uh, controller you will not get you may not get 3.3 and 5 voltage so this could happen uh, due to that particular uh, malfunctioning what is happening here that uh, I am just trying to make it on but the impression is you can see then it goes slightly up and goes down so it is trying to on but unable to find the ok logic ok so as you can see in the schematic well friend basically this is the point which I was talking about in practical session and uh, little bit I will uh, try to describe the schematic how you can identify that uh, which voltage should come first and then which will come later so that uh, in a couple of minutes I will make you understand so that uh, it will make your uh, work easy to find out if you get this motherboard I'm just trying to explain you just because uh, if you get the same types of problem you will not get 3.3 volt and 5 volt and uh, other voltages as well so that is why uh, I'm focusing on this point only because uh, this is a this is just a mother signal of this particular motherboard 
which part number is LAB843P and uh, the 5 model Dell. Here, what you have to understand that uh, how AC OK logic works. So you may not get this particular charging IC internal logic diagram, but on the behalf of uh, if you have gone through the internal logic of uh, two and three types of uh, internal logic of charging IC, then easily you can identify that uh, hash and this uh, round mark that indicates that uh, you are not going to get voltage on this particular pin. But for your kind information, uh, let me tell you that what is happening here, there is the end type of MOSFET uh, placed inside the this charging IC and uh, when the high logic comes on this particular MOSFET gate, the source which is uh, a ground goes to the pin number 5 through the drain. So that is why you get uh, ground in, in this pin, not the ground that is in electronics. This is called high logic or low logic. Here you, you will not get any voltage at any cost. If anyhow your charging IC is malfunctioning or there is the, some bad logic inside the charging IC, on this particular pin you will get high logic which I am uh, showing you in practical session. So here I am getting high logic instead of low logic and uh, due to this high logic my entire board is not working. My buck regulator is not getting on and I am not getting 3.3 and 5 volt. My controller IO is not initialized and uh, that is why my motherboard is not getting on. So here the thing is needed to understand that uh, AC in low logic, how does it work? Let's find out how does it work. So just copy it and as I have already pasted it this is the point this is the power switch logic PSL as here you can find out the two PSL PSL in one and PSL two hash there are the two uh, logic which is also low logic on this particular pin you should not get any voltage at any cost. Why? Because uh, as you see that it is coming on the PSL1 logic and uh, if you trace out where the PSL in is going, you will find out and just paste it and you find out that it is going to the controller chip and PSL in one hash PSL underscore in two hash and PSL out. Very simply you can understand that both in will go into the controller IO low and then it will come out with low logic. There is no puzzle in to understand this logic because uh, the both will go low and the low will come out. Either of one input if is high the high output you will get on this particular pin and this will determine that your board will switch on or not because uh, as you can see in order to get this motherboard uh, switch on you need a, a specific controller IO voltage required here because if you go on the top if you go on the top you will see that uh, this is the VCC supply. What is the VCC and VDD supply? As you better understand that uh, this is the particular input supply of any particular IC and uh, it is getting voltage from the 3.3 underscore auxiliary underscore KBC. This is the point from where you are getting that particular voltage. In this particular case, uh, that is the slightly different from the other motherboards. That is why I am trying to shed the light on this point so that you can easily determine that what is the actual root cause of the problem. So the both logic at any cost, your both logic should be low in order to 
get this PSL logic low and why you are required to get this uh, PSL or logic low so that in order to switch on this enhancement type of P channel if the ground comes on this particular pin or the low logic comes on this particular pin on the gate of this P type enhancement mod MOSFET what happens it will switch on you are getting 3.3 volt auxiliary S5 in your motherboard that is the always voltage I will show you that uh, how you are getting this auxiliary S5 voltage always so it is present in the motherboard and uh, it is on the source and as you know very well how the P channel works source to drain it is going on the gate and the it switch on because as the P channel works you know very well that it when it gets the low voltage on the gate it will switch on and as soon as it switch on it will send the voltage through source to drain and you are going to get this voltage on this particular pin when when this will happen when you are getting low switching on this particular pin very tiny transistor are located nearby io and uh, on that particular pin what you have to find only that on the two terminal you should get voltage source as well as on drain then you can expect your motherboard can get on and the what is the interesting thing in this motherboard that this particular voltage is going to make the sda and scl let's come and have a look when you uh, get auxiliary kbc voltage it is pull up to the scl and sda so now easily you can understand that why i was not getting voltage on the scl and sda pin because i am not getting 3.3 auxiliary kbc voltage in motherboard so only difference in this motherboard that this logic only usually you are not getting this types of uh, transition of voltage you do not get in in your uh, common models which you confront daily which you daily repair there is a little bit different there is a the few uh, transition of the states like uh, the first this will be uh, like as you can see that the first this will be generated and then you will get this voltage if the charging logic is low the charging ac ok logic is low then you will get this voltage the only matter is in this motherboard i hope that uh, this will help you to understand this logic and uh, let's repair the board which i have got uh, same thing I am going to do. I will replace the charging IC so that I can get this motherboard repair. Let's come and repair the motherboard. Let's come and change this IC. So I have traced out the IC. I have I I'll have to replace it. So let me make it clean. When you replace any ic just make it confirm that uh, the pin number one uh, should match the pin number one of the track because uh, usually it happens that uh, whenever i just uh, chat with someone and uh, you uh, simultaneously i am working something and uh, what happens sometimes it goes wrong 
now let's check you can see that there is a low logic and uh, on this particular pin number 5 uh, you have to mind here that uh, on the uh, BQ737 pin number 5 has low logic and uh, now earlier I was not getting even 3.3 .3 volt I am getting here and also I started getting 3 point uh, sorry 5 volt on the coil and uh, I was not getting SDA and SCL as uh, I have checked before now you can check the 3.3 .3. look there is this in this particular motherboard there are the transition of uh, voltage in two and three steps the first LDO is generated and uh, from the 3.3 .3 and 5 volt regulator then it became the auxiliary voltage and it again it became the auxiliary voltage for the controller IO and then the voltage reached to the SDA and SCL and uh, so many places now when the voltage is completed just make it on earlier it, is, earlier it was not getting on you can see the light is started and uh, fan is spinning ampere you can see so I hope guys you would have understood that uh, if uh, there is a uh, no power on in this motherboard first go to the charging IC and check whether AC OK signal is low logic or no if it is uh, high logic then definitely you will not get 3.3 .3 and 5 volt and uh, any voltage except uh, on off pin so I hope that uh, this video would be uh, good information for you and uh, hope that uh, in a one shot you can repair this types of problem so Thank you guys, thank you for watching this video and uh, please like and subscribe my video for more updates.